This video will contain spoilers for the book Thrawn. Near the end of the book, the title character admits that the empire he serves is tyrannical, ruthless, and corrupt. He's a man that regrets the loss of civilian life, and he disagrees with the philosophy of weapons like the Death Star. So why is it that a man with such beliefs and strong character would serve a government like that? I want to quickly touch on his logic in Star Wars Legends. Both Thrawn and the Emperor were aware of the existence of the Yuuzhan Vong, their potential invasion, and the massive threat they presented. Their goals in protecting the Republic and the Chiss Ascendancy were in line with each other, and Palpatine provided Thrawn with the military strength and resources to fight against any invading force. While it's possible the Yuuzhan Vong could return, I think it's doubtful. Yes, they were almost made canon by the Clone Wars, but that was before the purchase by Disney. I have a feeling the separation between canon and legends means any plans for the Vong have been pushed aside, at least for now. So if they're out of the picture, why does Thrawn side with the Empire? The new book confirms that there are still threats to the Chiss and the Empire hiding in the unknown regions. Thrawn describes those threats as far more evil and far more dangerous than the Empire. The Chiss Ascendancy decided there were two options to keep their people safe. They could either find a strong enough ally to help oppose that evil, or they could create weaker prey that would be more tempting to attack. During the Clone Wars, Thrawn became involved in a mission of Anakin Skywalkers. His true intentions were to investigate the Republic and determine which course of action to take. He decided the Republic was too chaotic to be of any help to the Chiss, and the war had already weakened them to the point of becoming a tempting target, so Thrawn returned to the Ascendancy. Jumping back to Star Wars Legends, Thrawn's desire for victory over threats to his people at any cost led to his exile. This is mirrored in the new book, but with a twist. When the Clone Wars ended and the Galactic Empire rose from the ashes of the Republic, the Chiss decided to learn more about the new faction. Thrawn's encounter with a Jedi meant he was most likely to be accepted, and so he was made to appear as an exile. The Chiss lured the Empire close to him, and he was so impressive that he was brought before the Emperor himself. Unexpected to even Thrawn, he was given a position within the Imperial Navy. As he rose through the ranks, he learned that the Empire was far from perfect, but he believed that it was a much stronger ally than the Republic ever could have been. Tyrannical and corrupt, yes, but ruthless and strong as well, qualities he knew could be important in the future. Furthermore, he saw the Rebellion to be a precursor to the same chaos and weakness that was bred under the Republic. His solution was to put down any resistance to the Empire, wait for the Emperor to die, and have himself in a position of enough power to influence the choice of a new, more just leader. In short, Thrawn viewed the Empire to be a necessary evil, but one that he could improve over time. He certainly didn't trust Palpatine. Thrawn helped the Emperor chart the Unknown Regions, yet kept the location of the Chiss Ascendancy a secret. He always discreetly prioritized the support and safety of his own people over the Empire. Now I'm going to get into speculation, but I don't believe Thrawn and Palpatine's goals align in the new canon the way they did in Star Wars Legends. Where Thrawn sees threats in the Unknown Regions, it's possible that Palpatine sees opportunity. Thrawn seems content to prepare defenses in Imperial space, while Palpatine seems to be seeking danger out. It's possible that the Emperor could be on the hunt, but based on evidence from Aftermath Empire's End, I think it's more likely he feels the call of something. Maybe Snoke. Maybe just the dark side in general. But whatever it is, he's following it. Again, those threats out there could be the Vong, but I don't think Lucasfilm would be building towards two major threats at the same time, and I see more evidence pointing towards Snoke or something similar. If anything, I think the book Thrawn is giving us more hints at what's to come in The Last Jedi and Episode 9. But if you want the evidence to decide for yourself, you can check out the novel Thrawn on Audible. The audiobook is out now, and you can get it for free by clicking on the link in the description, or by going to www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. If you sign up for a trial, you'll get a credit for one free book, and you can use it on Thrawn, or a number of other Star Wars books. Or get any book you want, the point is, you get a free book, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. What do you think is out in the Unknown Regions? 
Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to see new Star Wars videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.